Yo, what's happening people? Welcome to the Esoteric Coaching Channel. Kayvon here. Um, and this is gonna be a full day of eating, so I'm gonna specifically show you what I eat when I go to aim for about 2,300 calorie diet. Um, I'm gonna try to make a bunch of videos like this with different calorie ranges, so people who diet on different amounts can see what they can actually eat and how to make the diet fun, because honestly, like my diet's amazing. I don't like worry about what I'm eating. Every food tastes good. The only reason why I might not work is because I'm just hungry and I want more, but I'm never like, oh, my food sucks. Oh, I have to eat plain this, plain that. It's never plain. So let me show you guys the macros I'm going for today. Now, the only one that I really, really care about is protein and calorie count. Everything else, you know, it uh, might hit, might not. I don't really care. So 2,300 calories. I'm going for about 175 grams of protein. I shoot for about 80 grams of fat and whatever is left is filled out with carbs. The number that I probably should be hitting is right here. Now today, I've already gone through what I'm going to eat and I know I'm not going to hit the fat and carbs or it might be a little off, but I just want to let you guys know the only thing that matters for me is the protein. These ones change day to day and if I go over on fat or lower on fat, I don't trip about it. Yeah, macros this, macros that, hit it consistently, sure. But as long as you hit the amount of calories you need to and you get your protein protein intake, I think those two are the most important. So it's pretty early. I just finished up for an interview downtown. I already did my morning routine. I'm just gonna read for a little bit longer and work on getting my life insurance license because I have a different business venture I'm going to. And then when my first meal comes up, I will show you guys. So see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, it's about that time. Almost at the 16 hour mark, but I don't really care about having to hit 16 exactly. As you guys can see, sometimes I hit it, sometimes I don't, sometimes I go over by a lot, sometimes I haven't. This past week, I really haven't been hitting it completely, but I always kind of finish my fast in the same way lately. Let me show you what the first thing I eat is. Okay guys, so this is what I've been eating almost every day. I don't know, I just love dates. Some people can't handle this big bag. You know, some days I might have one or two servings because of that, but I like to start off with, you know, five or six dates and then a little apple. So the calories for this are gonna be pretty low so far, mostly carbs, obviously. A lot of fiber in this though, so it's a good way to get my fruits for the day, make sure I set off my day good, and then I'm gonna make my first meal. If you've never had dates before, they're literally like candy. I can't believe it's a fruit. I can't believe I got to eat this every day. It literally tastes like I'm having sweets. So if you're ever craving like sugar, or you're craving like a candy bar, I swear to God, I promise you dates are worth it. They literally like having a piece of Starburst every day in the morning. I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm actually being healthy. <clears throat> All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to my next meal. So I'm gonna be making some protein pancakes. You can make it from scratch, but I got these Kodiak cakes from Costco. They're pretty fire, um, you know, I think they're a great deal. I'm only gonna make one serving today. I'm gonna make my own, you know, little sauce. So I'm gonna make some PB2 sauce to put on top. The sugar-free carries adds 15 calories. I got to use a whole thing. And then I'm gonna top it off with some banana for some health. So I'll show you guys how I get down. Okay, so this is super simple. I just weigh out a serving. All right, whatever the serving is, it's half a cup. You use the same amount of water. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more just to make it more runny so I can make some more pancakes. Now this part's completely optional, but I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and a little bit of cinnamon just for some added flavor. I'm just gonna blend this together and then we're gonna move on to step two. All right guys, step two. I'm basically just gonna make my own peanut butter using PB2, but I'm gonna use it as a kind of like sauce for my protein pancake today. So I'm gonna about to use two servings just to have extra sauce. And you can make it thick or thin depending on how much water you use. I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner so I can, you know, pour it over a little bit more. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add water slowly, see how much cheap it's gonna get thick or not, kind of spin it down. And as you guys can see, I definitely need to add more water, right? So do that again. It looks like we have the right consistency, so we're just gonna mix it up. Boom. And voila. We got peanut butter. This is a great alternative to actually using real peanut butter. Has uh, less fat, uh, it's just the same amount of protein. Tastes almost exactly the same. I'm not gonna say it's 100%, but it's like 75% the same, it's good enough. And boom, now we have a topping. I might thin it out just a little bit more. All right, final step, guys, is just to make sure your pan's heated. Put it on high for a couple minutes. You know, I want it pretty hot, so these cook pretty quick. Get some kind of spray. You're gonna pour it on there. 
going to make these kind of thin because I want to make a couple of them. All right, so next thing you do is you got to wait a minute and then you're going to flip it. All right, guys, so I was trying to be all cool, but I accidentally turned on the wrong pan. So I decided to pour all this into one thing just to make one big, gigantic pancake. And I'm just going to top it off with everything. So that's what I'm doing. So just be patient. It's coming. Bam, guys, that's what it looks like. It is one big protein pancake top with some bananas. The peanut butter is on the bottom. We got a little bit of maple syrup. I'm going to throw the calories on top to the left, the proteins, the carbs, the fats. You see, it's got it all. It's low cal. It's a great way to start my day after having those dates. But I already know that in an hour or two, I'm going to be hungry. So I'm going to already plan on making my next meal. But I hope you guys like this. Try it out sometime. It's freaking amazing. I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours, about, about three hours since I last ate. So it's time for a meal. I guess you can call this meal number two or three, depending on how you group those together. But a lot of people are not going to be happy about this meal because this meal is cup of freaking noodles. Now, a lot of people don't like this because it's processed and high in sodium, but sodium is not as bad as people make it out to be. If you eat enough potassium through fresh fruits and vegetables, um, you know, you might be an athlete or someone who sweats a lot, therefore you might sweat out more salt. So salt intake is really dependent on your lifestyle and what other foods you're eating. Now, I'm not saying to have an extremely high salt diet because that is not good for you and that's been proven through a lot of studies, but not getting enough salt in your diet is actually just as bad or worse. Salt is an essential nutrient and it works with potassium to regulate a lot of things in your body. So I'm gonna use this as my base. So let me show you what I'm gonna make with this. All right, as you guys can see, I use a lot of different ingredients to make this. So I always like to add some fresh vegetables to my cup of noodles. It just makes it taste so much better. So I'm gonna use peppers, red onion, and some green onions. After that, I'm gonna cook a couple of eggs to throw in there, top it with a little bit of turkey, and of course I have to add the cheese and some hot sriracha. All right guys, you're probably wondering why are we staying on the crew? That's because I wanna show you a life hack tip. If you have one of these and you don't have a way to cook hot water, you don't need to worry about it. You just take the coffee thing out. You set the thing in, set it to like the second or the highest setting and click it and boom. You got instant hot water for your ramen. I mean, honestly guys, I don't know how much more I could give you, come on. All right, just in case you guys don't know, once you put the hot water in, you're gonna wanna cover it or do something. I just use that, I'm gonna let it sit for three minutes while we fix everything else up. All right, so as you guys can see, I got my vegetables cut up, some peppers, some onions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the bowl I'm gonna use, cause that cup of noodles is not gonna be big enough to fit all this. I'm gonna take my sriracha and I'm gonna coat the bottom with however much you want. Add a little spice. Next thing I'll do, I'm gonna add all these things in there. And then only a couple more steps and we're done. We got the pan all nice and hot. So now we're gonna cook some eggs to throw on this. Some eggs just taste freaking amazing. Whoops, sorry about that guys. Okay, we're ready to proceed to the final step. I have taken two servings of his Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese. It is low in calorie, it's pretty bomb. This is done. As you can see, perfecto. We're gonna pour that in there. Yup. And the final step, take my egg. It's a little crisp, I don't really care. Throw it in there, guys. And bam, guys, we are done. I have got my ramen here. It's actually really, really, really good, really satisfying. It's got a good amount of protein. You know, a lot of people will say, what the hell? But you know, there's fresh vegetables in here. I got eggs in here. I got turkey in here. I got my lean meats. I got the eggs in there. Come on, proteins, all that stuff. So check out the calories here. It's definitely not super low in calorie, but it's definitely not very high either. It's kind of right in the middle right there. You know, you're gonna see the proteins, the fats, the carbs. So definitely a decent meal. It's pretty filling. It's extremely satisfying for me. I've been loving this meal. I've been having this daily. And like I said, if you keep your sodium intake pretty regularly, the water retention shouldn't really be there. Um, your body will eventually regulate itself and you won't be holding on to so much water weight. But that is meal number three. So total calories so far right here. We got total proteins, total fats, total carbs. So we still have two meals left for today, but I'm gonna save them both 
for after when I'm done with jujitsu. Uh, so that way when I go to bed, I'm gonna be extremely satisfied, extremely full, and not gonna be really worried about being hungry. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Put the place up. So you guys just saw me make a smoothie. Tastes delicious. I make this on my channel a lot. Here's a video if you want to go see more of it. It's got everything you need, fruits, vegetables, protein, flavor, taste, a lot of, I used to use almond milk, now I use water just because it makes me way more full for some reason. But I still got one more meal and I gotta make it while I eat, drink this. So let's go do that. All right, time for the last meal of the day. So I got two servings of this shrimp. I'm gonna throw in this bowl right here. So pretty decent amount of shrimp, as you can see. Now I'm gonna flavor it, but I don't wanna add any calories because we're low, right? For me, this is low. So I got this, I can't believe it's not butter spray. I'm gonna spray this stuff a couple times. Got a little bit of lemon juice and I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna squirt a little bit in that too. And last but not least, we're gonna grab a little bit of some lemon pepper. Right there, right in there. Oh. Last step, I grab myself a fork and I'm just gonna kinda mix that around a little bit, add some flavor to this plain shrimp just so it doesn't taste like nothing. There obviously will be other stuff added, but that'll be step number one. All right, now I wanna get my vegetables in for the day. So I'm gonna throw in half of this bag of this spinach. That's right, half a bag of spinach. We're not done yet. We're gonna have half a bag of arugula. So a shit ton of greens. And I do this because this is a lot of volume and this is only 80 calories for just the vegetables. With the shrimp and that, it's only around maybe I don't know, like 280 calories total right now, so it's very low cal so far. I don't have that many other vegetables in my house, so I'm gonna go back to these green onions and onions. I'm just gonna cut these up real quick. So obviously we're gonna add the extra vegetables in here. I would add more vegetables, guys, I just don't have it, but now it's time for the dressing. So I am using, I hope you guys can see that. There we go. Creamy Caesar yogurt dressing, as you guys can see, only 45 calories. Now, if it was just spinach, I would only use one serving, but the arugula, for some reason, has a really bitter taste to me. So I am gonna use three servings. But that's like pretty much the same amount as normal dressing, so who cares, right? Now it's time to mix it up. Boom, all done. For the final ingredient, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use about two servings of this. And bam, guys, it's done. So, for the smoothie, I'm gonna put the calories right here, protein right here, fats right here, and carbs right there. So, um, the only reason this smoothie is very high in calories is because I added the oats. If you take the oats out, it would have been 160 calories less and that's a lot more manageable. Now for the salad, I'll get rid of those. Now for the salad, we have the calories here, proteins here, fat here, carbs here, or somewhere around there, you guys can see it. This is a lot more low cal, a lot more high in protein, very filling, but these two together are guaranteeing that I'm gonna be freaking stuffed and not gonna wanna eat it all before I go to bed. 
And all right, guys, that's it for the full day of eating video. Now let me show you where the calories are at. So as you can see, I'm pretty freaking on target today. And I've had a lot of great foods. I've had to have some dates, some apples. I made a protein pancake with bananas and peanut butter. I had ramen noodles and it was a bigger bowl with some turkey and some extra vegetables. And I finished off the day with a huge salad and a huge like 50 ounce smoothie. So having 2,300 calories a day and making it healthy does not have to be boring. Now, for some of you guys, you guys are thinking 2,300 calories, that's my maintenance. Just for reference, my maintenance is around 3,100 calories, so I'm at an 800 calorie deficit. Um, I just wanted to kind of show what I would eat if I was gonna go that low. So if you need to eat lower, obviously you can make some adjustments. You could use less PB2 for the protein pancakes. You could use less dressing. You can lose less, um, you know, vegetables. You don't have to throw the oats in there. You know, there's a lot of little things you can do, right? You don't have to cook two eggs with the ramen. You could use one. You don't have to use two servings of cheese. You could use one. So honestly, all you have to do is lower a couple ingredients and you could still have the same exact day. So I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any feedback, you have any more ideas you guys wanna do, do you guys want me to do 24, 25, 26, 27, 28? Do you want me to do a 10,000 calorie challenge? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs freaking up. I appreciate it. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. I make content, fitness, social development, random content that you might enjoy. So I hope you guys join me on this journey and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace.